Now, in this vlog here, I spoke a lot about how to clean your saxophone, and I spoke about how I tend to just use anti-back wipes through once through the saxophone just to clean the mouthpiece out, but the actual necks are really difficult to clean, and there's a really nice hack in this book by Stephen Howard in the Haynes Saxophone Manual. And what it is, it's about using vinegar to clean out your saxophone necks, the crooks or necks, however we want to call them. Now, I went and purchased some extra vinegar today from Waitrose, so I'm going to show you how I do it. The biggest problem I have the first time I did it is that my saxophone just smelt like a fish and chip shop for weeks afterwards. So I've got a little um, kind of extra thing you can add to it with a bit of lemon juice, which kind of takes away that nasty vinegar smell. But it does clean out the neck and actually does improve the sound of the saxophone a little bit because you're getting a lot of that gunk that's sort of stuck in there that you can't quite reach with a swab. And I don't like using swabs on my necks because I've had too many bad experiences of swabs getting stuck in there just before big gigs and things like that. So this is not my hack, it's Stephen Howard's, but... Um, it's a great one anyway. So the first thing I want to do is put the kettle on. Because if you think I'm doing this job without a cup of tea. Now, I had this putty and you saw me with it with my hand. I haven't got any blue tack. So this is going to have to serve the use of bunging up the uh, hole for now. I hope it doesn't react badly to the putty. We need to seal up the octave key as well. No idea if this is impervious or not. Well, I guess we'll find out in a minute. Anyway, the kettle's boiled. I can't be bothered taking it off. <clears throat> Blowing into it, checking they're airtight. That's airtight. That's airtight as well. Don't want any vinegar leaking out. Now Stephen says it's got to stand for at least half an hour, okay? Just realised I put that on an angle, but it should be all right. Okay. Countdown 35 minutes. So I'll go have a cup of tea. What are you going to be? Uh, a star. Mm. It's school play time. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy, mommy. Twinkle. Bye, have a nice time. Just realised, of course, the whole of that last section in the kitchen had no volume on because the microphone was off. I do apologise. Anyway, it's been done. Um, so... You're probably not going to hear a huge difference. I noticed a little bit of a difference on the other video I shot before. It's difficult to describe. Um, it's kind of... There's less resistance there, definitely. And there is... It feels... Duller. That would be the best way to describe it. Maybe all that spit and gunge in there was kind of exciting the sound. I don't know. Anyway, kids have gone off to their school play. I have now like 30 minutes, if that, to get some practice in. Um, Katie's out on her staff dinner, our staff Christmas do, so I'm my help left holding the babies today as it were. So I've got 30 minutes, so excuse me while I, I get on with 30 minutes worth of intense practice. And with that I'm thinking of that deep work thing I spoke about before. So some overtones, some digital pattern exercises, a little bit of transcribing, and that'll probably, that'll be, probably go over anyway. So got to get on. <laughs> Overtones are coming out so much cleaner 
with a clean neck. <laughs> Told you this was my favourite Christmas song, didn't I? <laughs> taste a bit of vinegar in it. Maybe I need to clean it out a bit more. It is making me feel a little bit nauseous so maybe I'm just gonna take a break. Let it air overnight. Hopefully tomorrow it won't smell as much like a chip shop but it has, it, 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 having played with it for the last 40 minutes or so, it does, it does, there is a difference there. It certainly it gives a slightly different tone um, but I mean the big difference is, I mean, if you think I'm playing this for at least two hours, at least two hours most days, and this is 60 years old, this saxophone. Um, you know, there's a, it can't really, I, I can't do it justice on the camera how clean the inside of this thing is after that vinegar treatment. So it does work. So uh, any comments or questions, stick them in the boxes below, and um, I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. So let's give that a good few hours and see what happens with the finish. <laughs> 